What's up guys, welcome to Diving Garage. I built this budget 350 small block Chevy just over a year ago with some eBay heads. And since then, people have been talking a lot of smack about eBay heads and I don't think they know what they're talking about. So I wanted to give you a one year review on what it's like to drive an engine with eBay heads and hopefully dispel some myths. Let's dive in. All right, so the first thing I've heard about these is that you cannot just put quality parts in them and send it and be good to go. Well, let me tell you, that's wrong. In these heads, I put maybe middle of the road to a few higher, higher end parts and I've been just fine. I've never had a single valve train problem on this engine. And honestly, I even put in probably a little bit cheaper lifters and it's been just fine. So that first myth is busted. And the second thing I've heard is that they won't seal because the head surface isn't flat. And it may not be perfectly flat, but if you're running some eBay heads, you're probably skipping the machine shop and you're going to uh, just run them as they are and just bolt them right on. And let me be the one to tell you, you can do exactly that. I didn't do any machine work to these, but even if they are not perfectly flat, there's two things you, you can do to combat that. The first thing is you can use head studs. Now let me get you down in there so you can see on this rig, I am running head studs. And what that does is that the increased clamping force of the head studs will not negate, but help if they are a little bit out of flatness. And the second thing you can do is you can run a Felpro head gasket. And what that's gonna do, I think it's called a Felpro Permatorque, if I got that right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a Permatorque. And what that does, it allows you a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more surface imperfection to seal up. So even if the heads aren't flat, if you do those two things, you'll be just fine. So again, uh, people will say that if they're not perfectly flat, they won't seal, you'll blow head gaskets all over the place, you'll never have a good running engine. That's also busted. I bolted these heads on and I haven't unbolted them since. Same head gaskets, same exhaust gaskets, those seal up just fine. Um, same studs, and honestly, these studs, these are Amazon studs. These aren't even ARP or any sort of name brand, and they're holding up perfectly fine. All right, one more thing I've heard is that uh, you can't get these heads hot or they'll crack. Let me tell you right now, completely wrong. When I was installing this engine, uh, I didn't fill up the radiator fast enough, and the engine got up to, I want to say like 230 maybe, and uh, I threw a fan on it, cooled it right down, and it was just fine. Head gaskets were good, heads didn't crack, it was good to go. So don't let anybody tell you that if you get them hot once they're toast, because that's not true. If anything, the opposite is true. Uh, I've had these heads running at 180 to 195 the entire time I've been running them. Never had a single issue. Because remember, they're still aluminum. So uh, aluminum disperses heat better than cast iron or steel. So uh, just the nature of the, metal, the material that it is, it's gonna do a little bit better at heat dissipation. So once again, that mess is also busted. Don't let anybody tell you that uh, once they get hot, they're, do they're toast, okay? So another one I've heard is that these are throwaway heads. You run them for a race or two, and then they're trash. Not the case. Um, I've had these on there for just over a year, like I said, and I've driven them from Jersey all the way to West Virginia, down to Virginia, up to Pennsylvania, all throughout Maryland, and I've probably put about 7,000 miles on them, give or take. And I've done, I don't know, quite a few oil changes. I changed it a little more than regular just because it was a fresh build. Make sure everything's good to go. No metals in the oil or any of that. No issues at all. And uh, so don't let anybody say they don't last because they do. They're pretty durable. They last. And I really have no issues whatsoever. Another one I've heard is that the uh, valve seats will just fall out and they'll trash your engine. False. Uh, all I did with these valve seats is uh, put a little bit of grinding compound on there spun the valves a little bit just give them a quick lap and sent it no issue at all so that's just not the case but you might be asking yourself okay but if they last they don't crack such and such uh, do they even hold compression well uh, i'll try to put the video right here and i just did a compression test on all eight cylinders and i got perfect compression all the way around i think the variance was like two psi i think it was there was that it just some small amount that really negligible um, so to answer that question, yes. So if anyone's telling you they don't hold compression, they suck, they won't seal again, that's just wrong. One thing I will say though, is that if you're running these heads and you're using the uh, perimeter, style, perimeter style valve covers, uh, what you wanna do is make sure you use a steel core valve core gasket. And that really isn't unique to the eBay heads, that's any perimeter style valve cover. Uh, Cause what happens is uh, it'll kind of squish out and it'll, the gasket will either squish into the head or outside of the head and then oil will come out. That's just a bad day. Um, 
but if you're using any style, perim any perimeter style valve cover, you should be using steel valve cord, steel cord valve cover gaskets, if I can say that right. Um, but that again, that's not unique to the eBay. If you're gonna if you're gonna pick these, uh, don't do the angle plugs. I did that, and let me walk over to the other side here. And uh, I ended up having to dimple one of the uh, exhaust primaries, but that's okay. It's that uh, number one uh, tube right there. That's not really any performance loss. That's been proven time and time again. Uh, but the problem really is the headers. Um, it's really tough to get either a socket or a wrench on these spark plugs with the way that these headers are because they're designed for straight plugs. And being that you're trying to use angle plugs or straight plug headers, it, you're kind of fighting yourself. So uh, I would pick the straight plugs. Uh, and yeah, I know you miss a few HPs out of there, but I really doubt you're going to notice. So <laughs> unless you're running some crazy all-out race build with these, just get the straight plugs. All in all, I've never had an issue with the actual cylinder head itself. Because think about it, all the cylinder head has to do is pin it down and stay there. Uh, there are no moving parts. The moving parts are the things you put onto it. So if you cheap out or you get the assembled ones, which don't do that, buy them bare and assemble them yourself. And uh, maybe your rocker stud comes undone, which I've never had happen, or uh, your rocker gets loose or something else moves in your valve train. That's not the problem of the cylinder head. That's the problem of the valve train or maybe the insulation or maybe it comes out of lash. But again, not the problem of the head itself. Um, otherwise, the heads don't do anything. They just get pinned down and they stay there. And once again, like I've said a couple times, these heads seal, they stay sealed. Use head studs, use a permatorque gasket and you'll be good to go. I've had other issues with this engine, but they were really of my own doing. Uh, I had a mismatched carburetor on there. I had an Edelbrock 650. Uh, this engine combo I'm running really likes a 750. Really the intake I have on there isn't probably quite the right one for the cam I have, but it was what I had, so I sent it. And you know, it works just fine. If you are interested in building a set of these for yourself, I definitely recommend it. I'll put a link right here for a video going over all the parts you'll need to assemble one of these yourself. And you can do it the exact same way I did if you want, or just use that as a guide. But either way, you can put quality parts in these and have a good set of heads. And if you're interested in more horsepower, saving money, saving time, and you enjoy doing things yourself, then definitely recommend this. But guys, if someone's out there telling you that eBay heads suck, they're wrong. And there's a proof right there behind me. I've been running these for over a year. Again, traveled all over the place. I've never had an issue with the head. I've had other issues like fuel pressure, a carburetor, and uh, ignition, but those aren't related to the head. And those were problems that honestly I caused and solved myself. So um, if you're running a set of eBay heads, comment down below your experiences. Tell me about your build, what kind of setup you're running, so that way other people can know uh, what these heads are capable of, what engine you got them on. This is a 350. I've heard some people running these on 383s, having great luck with them. Um, but yeah, comment down below what you're running so that way uh, other people can hear about different builds and different combinations they can come up with. Look guys, whoever's telling you these heads suck, they're wrong. They probably don't have experience with them. They probably never run them in an engine that they've owned themselves because everyone I've talked to as has a set of these on their engine, they love them because they're fine, okay? So look, if there's someone trying to scare you away from these, again, machinist, casual engine builder, hardcore engine builder, racer, I don't care who it is. If they're telling you they suck, they're wrong. Look, so not only am I confident in these heads, I know it won't be an issue. I'm about to bolt a blower right on top of them and freaking send it. So that shows you my level of confidence in the build that I put together and the head quality. But if you think back maybe five to seven years ago, people were having a lot of issues with these heads. That's not the case anymore. It might have maybe even 10 years ago, um, but they're fine now. Are the decks zero flat? Probably not. Are the, uh, do they come with a super high horsepower valve job? No, but that, again, this, this is for a budget build skipping the machine shop, but the quality is there and there's no reason you need to be afraid of using these things. Uh, it's 2024 as I'm recording this video, it's September. And again, I recommend it, I think you should do it. So if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get out there and dive in your next project. Bye eBay heads.